it started with like we would watch a movie and if it had like a, a black lead like a a, a black actor who was the lead they would change it and i'd be like why i was watching that well we don't watch and they say a slur we don't watch them on the tv and i'm like oh okay you know i i, I guess we don't do that any kind of positive outlook on anything besides white culture it was frowned upon i was made fun of for it i was told i was a slur lover like that kind of thing and we're talking i'm not even teenager yet yeah you're like you said you were around eight to ten or something here's that racism is spoon is spoon fed to you it's not like what you see in movies it's not really shoved in your your, your down your throat it's slowly fed to you but some bites are bigger than others. Sometimes you do get a, a big bite and you're like, oh, this is a lot to chew on. And you have a choice to spit it out or swallow it. And me, I was always half and half because I, you know, wanted to trust my parents or parent at the time. So I thought, oh, they know best. They're the ones raising me, you know, like that. I, I was a very logical child to a degree, but also very ignorant. But that was because I was being raised in ignorance. <laughs> 